Long walks to faraway paddocks can deplete autumn body reserves. The overall objective of condition scoring your herd in late autumn is twofold. Firstly, based on your results, you can segregate cows into groups for preferential feeding over the winter. And secondly, you can decide to dry off a cow earlier than planned. By condition scoring in advance of winter, you can minimise the cost of putting condition on cows or reduce costs by restricting silage. I've selected out five cows and put them into the crush. The cows vary in condition score from a very fat six calver scoring over four on a scale of one to five down to a thin young cow scoring a two who is just finishing her second lactation. I've asked a farmer to come in and estimate condition score but before he comes in let's take a sneaky closer look at the cows. Starting at the back of the crush look at this fat cow. The overall rounded appearance, fat covering her back and around her pins, no bones visible at all. Her condition score is well over four at least. The second cow is the same, but maybe not quite as fat. The third cow is the young cow, and in my opinion is just about a score of three. No excess fat around the tail head. You can just feel the tips of those short ribs. Good fat cover over the long ribs. The fourth cow is showing more bone. No cover around the tail head. You can feel the short ribs clearly and the last couple of long ribs are visible. To me, she's close to a condition score 2.5. The cow at the top of the crush is the thinnest cow and is scoring closer to 2. Her skin is tight to the body and she has no fat cover. Her short ribs can be singled out and all along her long ribs are clearly visible and you can feel them one by one. The farmer starts with the fat cow at the back and handles the cows into three key areas. First up, he assesses the fat cover on the long ribs. No bones can be felt through the fat on this cow. The short ribs are completely submerged in fat and there is massive cover of fat around the tail head. This cow is still milking. If she is late calving, she can stay milking or if calving in early spring, silage may have to be restricted. The farmer assesses the long ribs of the second cow, rubs his hand along the short ribs and finally assesses fat cover around the tail head before calling out his condition score estimate to his recorder, where she records it beside the cow's tag number. He moves on to the third cow. Again, the routine is the same. The long ribs, the short ribs, and around the tail head. The two thin cows are next. You can see even without handling, the backbones are more visible in these cows. I've scored this cow 2.5. The farmer runs his hand along the short and long ribs, and around the tail head. There is little excess fat cover on this cow. Finally, the very thin cow. He can individually feel the long ribs. His hand runs over the bumpy short ribs. There is no fat at all around the tail head and the skin is tight to feel. A quick look at the notebook reveals what condition score he put on the cows. He scored the fat cow, condition score four, 3.75 on the second cow, 3 on the young cow in the middle, 2.5 on the second last cow, and the same as myself, condition score 2 on the first cow in the crush, the thinnest cow. Once the farmer has this information on all his cows, he can decide to group the cows for special feeding. Thin cows, that means those under 2.5, will need an extended dry period or else good quality silage with plenty of headroom. It's very hard to either restrict silage or get enough good quality silage into cows if you're a short in headspace. You will need silages over 72 DMD to put condition on dry cows. Tin young cows with only a 10 to 12 week dry period might need a kilo or two of meal during the first six weeks of the dry period, or else dry them off earlier and give them more time dry.